Hello everyone, my name is John, and this is part 3 of my series of videos exploring the VEX Tournament Manager software for use in the VEX Robotics Competition. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at the check-in and inspection functionalities of the Tournament Manager software. So first let's discuss check-in. Uh, so as teams arrive at the venue on the tournament morning, uh, you'll probably want to check them in so that you know uh, who's here and who isn't. Uh, and Tournament Manager makes it easy to uh, track that. So we'll go to Check-in, we'll go to Tools, Team Check-in, and that presents us with this window. And to check in a team, we're simply going to uh, enter their team number, either by typing it in or selecting them from the drop-down menu. And we'll say, you know, Team 954. And to check them in, we'll just hit Check-in. And you can see then uh, they appear on the list of teams currently check in, checked in. We can also check in all teams uh, at once, you know, if we're keeping track, for example, on a, like a piece of paper, and we know that all teams are here, we can check in all teams by selecting all teams from the drop-down and hitting check, check in. And that now allows us to have all teams checked in. Now, if for some reason we check in a team by accident, and we want to uh, uncheck them in, then we can go to team list and select that team. So let's say, for example, 1919Q uh, is not actually here. So we just uh, uncheck the checked in checkbox and hit save, and that results in them uh, not being checked in. So that's uh, how we check teams in. Um, next up, uh, we're going to look at uh, inspection. So uh, inspection is sort of similar to check in. Uh, you can check or you can keep track in the software of uh, which teams have passed inspection, which teams haven't started inspection yet. And we can do that by going to Tools, Inspection. And similarly, we can enter a, a team number, either by typing it in or by selecting it from the drop-down. And once we've selected them, we can set their inspection status as not started, partially complete, or passed. And then uh, once we've done that, we hit Save, and then that marks them as having passed inspection. Uh, so a useful tool uh, during this phase of the tournament uh, is the inspection uh, screen on the audience or pit display. So let's look at that. Let's create an audience display. And we'll bring up the inspection screen there. So here we see the inspection screen. And you can see we've got a list of all the teams. Uh, and their numbers are shown in different colors, so we'll go through what the colors mean. Uh, gray uh, indicates not checked in, so we can see your 1919Q is the team that's not checked in, and they appear as gray. Uh, red indicates that a team is checked in, but inspection has not been started. Uh, green uh, strike through as 1234B indicates that a team has checked in and completed inspection. And there's one more color which we're not seeing, and that's for uh, a team that is checked in and has inspection partially complete. So let's mark that, and we can see now that that team appears in amber and with their team number underlined. Uh, so this is a, a good way to visualize um, who or which teams still need to be inspected, both for uh, the inspectors and the people running the tournament, and also for the teams themselves. Um, so that's the inspection screen. And uh, so once everyone is checked in and inspected, uh, something that might be necessary is to regenerate the match schedule to exclude any teams that aren't checked in. So that's possible at a tools regenerate match schedule. And this brings up uh, actually a, a sort of shortened version of the tournament setup wizard that only shows the match schedule uh, portion. So uh, the relevant area is this pane here. And uh, we can choose either to regenerate the match schedule, including the teams that have not checked in, or excluding the teams that have not checked in. So in this case, we're going to exclude the one team that is not checked in. And we'll hit Next. And then we'll regenerate the qualification match schedule. And uh, now we've done that. So. Uh, that now means that our team that hasn't checked in, 1919Q, um, is no longer participating in any of the qualification matches. So uh, 
we now sort of eliminate the situation where there's going to be teams who are alone because 1919Q was supposed to be there, but isn't. And one last thing uh, that we can do um, sort of on the morning of the tournament, uh, after we've regenerated the match schedule if necessary, we can create printouts of the match schedule. So that's available at reports, match lists and results, qualification match list by match. It'll take a minute to generate that, and we'll just view that as a PDF here. Uh, so this is a list of all the matches, and a lot of events will want to distribute those um, you know, to teams so that they can see what matches they're in. And of course, in addition, the schedule can be viewed on the audience display and pit displays using that screen. So that's it for this part. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be looking at uh, running qualification matches. So we'll see you then.